it's an indoor fall sport. Girls volleyball. And for head coach John Kablik, who has won 14 consecutive district titles, one with Bishop Hoban and the last 13 with Holy Redeemer, it's a season he's found hard to prepare for. So yeah, it's uh, unusual times and normally we'll have 15 people on the varsity, but um, this year, don't know anything about JVs or first year games or anything else. And so we're waiting on that. Well, just like the Pottsville School District, Holy Redeemer plans to follow the governor's guidelines for indoor sporting events. Only 25 allowed. So when you start counting the numbers, that's eight girls per team, one coach, the PRAA officials, a scorekeeper, trainer, and no media allowed. We're trying to work on an eight person rotation right now, which is not easy because people will be out of position. Even if we don't get to conference or districts or anything, like if they get canceled, as long as I get to be here and practice, I'm having fun. The Royal players go through a series of temperature checks and questions before each practice. They are like a test model for the indoor sports to come this winter. We're going back half and half at school, which makes me a lot more comfortable and just knowing that the, like the 25 rule and like we're trying to social distance as much as we can and like keep it to a small number, which makes me a lot more comfortable being here. It's tough, but we we obviously we're here and we're doing it and we're going through all the procedures like temperatures, making sure we're healthy. So everything's going smoothly right now. So I hope it just keeps going. Players are happy to have the chance to play and compete. They're not fond of the small numbers allowed in the gym where parents won't get to see them play. That's kind of upsetting that my family won't get to see, um, but I guess we're in the best situation for everything that's going on right now, so I kind of got to get what, like, be happy with what I'm given. Two seasons ago, Kablik led his team to the AA state championship game and an overall 21-1 record. If he gets that chance again this season, it will be with a much smaller group. Steve Lloyd, Newswatch 16 Sports, Luzerne County.